Big fish. All righty, guys. Good morning, people. We're uh, out here drifting and dragging. We just caught one on a drifting rod right here. This is him. Not a bad fish, of course. CPR. We take some pictures, catch them, release them. So right now I got to release him though without some pictures because Deuce has got a big fish on. So let's release this guy here. Let's turn this camera so we can watch him here. Let's see how that works. And off he goes. All right, guys. Gotta help you. Here, there you go. Focus on Deuce. How funny it would be if it be another flathead. Guys, a little bit of backstory here. Last time we were in this spot, we didn't have the camera out, but we caught a big old flathead here. And uh, I'm actually curious to see if it's another flathead. It's a blue? Okay. Off he goes. Now we just gotta get some more rods out, get a couple rods out, and start fishing again. Nice double to start today. Uh-huh. Another good one. Another good one? Yep. Wait, that was on another chunk. I don't know the chunk you give it. Yeah, I was about to say, you're going to break the rod there. <laughs> You want to put a head on this one? Okay guys, we're going to show you um, how we're using these planer boards. First, Ace is going to use gizzard chat. We're using gizzard chat today. Uh, for right now, gizzard chat seems to be a, a better bait. We are still catching them on skipjack, but fresh gizzard chat is, is working good for us. So, uh, we got this like this. Standard Carolina rig, we're using what's called a drift stick um, for our weight. So to do the planer board, what we do is we go ahead and cast this out as far as we can. Okay, I'm gonna let that hit the bottom first before I put my planer board on. Whew.
there, hip bottom. So Ace is going to show you how to put the planter board on. So what we're going to do is, first, take this little swivel here, clip it onto your line, just like a regular snap swivel. So now it's on my line. Now you always want to make sure, if you have Zach Gross planter boards, that the red clip is facing the front of the rod and it's on the outside of the line. Okay? Now, Jack, I don't think I can see me. There we go. Now what we're going to do is, I'm just going to take the red clip and I'm going to open it up and there's a little nipple on the inside. Okay? You can put it in front of the nipple which makes it super sensitive to pop. You can put it on the top of the nipple which makes it a little harder to pop. Or you can put it behind the nipple which we like to do sometimes in wind like this. That way we don't have to mess with it a whole lot and it will never pop. Right? So I'm going to put it behind the nipple. Okay? Make sure that that behind the nipple. Now it's behind the nipple. Then you just toss it out there. So we go ahead and we just put it in the water. And then we let that we let it run out for a good ways before we close our bale. So we'll let that run out for a little bit. And then we'll close up our bale. Ah, he's got me wrapped. Alright guys, I'm on here with another fish. That's on one. The other dragon rod back here. We didn't stagger these enough. Okay, hold on a second. Relax. Let me bring that one in. I'm guessing. There we go. That was on a gizzard head. Give me a split uh, pipe. Here he is one more time. After a little fish release. That's close. He's that muddy. Look at his belly. Man. He's sitting down there in the mud. Okay, all right. Cletus. Cletus, I don't need you to put the hook that you got in your mouth in my thumb. Look at that belly. That's sitting down in the mud. Muddy belly right there.
All right, guys, we're back on again. Fish number six. Fish number six. They're destroying these planter boards in this gizzard, Chad. We're doing real good with this gizzard, Chad. Yeah. Like the same dude we just caught. Uh, Does he not just look like the same dude we just caught? I don't know. Once you catch enough of these, they all look the same. Oh yeah, he hammered it. He's, oh, oh, I was about to say, you, you kept our gizzard chat head. Stole his bait, stole his dinner from him, stole his breakfast from him. Making him look really big. Yeah. yeah. Make sure that gizzard chat's on there good. I will. I gotta wait for him. Fish. Hammered the gizzard shot head, huh? Yeah. Man, I wish I would have got the takedown for you guys. You want to take a picture of the. Yeah, I'm a good release on this one. It's blinking, so let's see if it works this time. Oh. Good fish right there. Good fish. Number? Oh buddy. Nine! 
guys, we're going to call that uh, the end of the day today. Again, we did another half day um, fishing. We ended up with uh, nine fish. Uh, good, good morning. Uh, very, very productive in the morning. So the uh, lake conditions out here in Fort Loudon, we're in the main uh, river channel today. We're fishing secondary channels. It is uh, it's about 50, 51 degrees in the main lake channel. Still blowing a lot of current. Wind is up uh, upwards around 10 miles an hour today, so uh, it's just too much. We got blown off the lake. We did good. We had a nice day, but uh, we're gonna call it and go get some lunch and warm up a little bit. Nice sunny day, but very windy. Uh, like always, subscribe, like, and um, and check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. All at Deuces Wild Fishing Charters. And guys, give us a contact and we'll let you know what's going on in the water or any anything you need help with or any questions you have. Tight lines, y'all.